Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, we need to save those poor little birds from being... Apparently the audio is really lagging. I don't know why. That's annoying. Well, we'll fix that later. We don't need to worry about that. But we need to save those poor little birds. Um, okay, so basically... Wow. The game is seriously lagging. Okay. There's no reason to pick the epiphyte, 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 epiphyte. Your feet smell like feet. Bright orchid sprays decorate the trees. They are beautiful, but have very little perfume. Well, that's unfortunate. Um. Well, let's see. Um. Let's see. The top of the tree pokes out of the vast sea of green. A f a peat. <laughs> I don't know what to, I don't know how to pronounce these. They're air plants. They live off of the tree and provide main nutrients. Orchids and pitcher plants are epiphytes, but there are many other kinds. I'm just gonna pretend that they're Spanish. Well, we're in South America. It's cool. A golden cock of the rock is perched here. That seems rude. The yellow-ribbed cacreek is perched at the top of the top of the emergent tree. Okay, so obviously we need something to get past that smelly bird. Um, let's go down the tree. Farther down, Adam. Thank you. We haven't really explored this area yet. Um, okay, so more birds. Colony of macaws. Oh shoot, what's that line in the tiki room? Because they're ma because they're claws? No, because they're macaws! Oh, none of you are gonna get that. That's okay. Part of me is sort of happy that you don't get that. That means you don't work at Disneyland. Anyway. Moving on, um, the, the, the. what we need to do, I believe, if my memory serves, we need to, s there's a sound of snuffling below? Snuffle, who uses the verb snuffling? What does that even mean? I don't know what's down there, I don't want to find out. What, I can't, I can't even enunciate my annoyance. What on earth is down at the bottom of that tree? Okay, okay, okay. It's an adventure game. From my youth. To quote Pa Duggan, from my youth. Okay. Okay. So, let's go back up the tree. We need to make the Hodazan stop smelling. <laughs> Which sounds like some kind of horrible thing you would do to a kid in school. Like in middle school, some kind of horrible prank. Don't touch it! Get it away from me! The Hodazan said. I kind of want to mix this with like, um, the Emperor's New Groove. Like, just have, um, uh, the, the Emperor's Groove. Yeah, you know. You know. It's cool. Oh! He just climbed up. That's nice. Adam can't leap there. He'll have to climb to something closer. Can I just grab the hummingbird? The hummingbird moves too quickly to catch. Touching him would probably hurt him. Well, that's nice that Adam cares. Can we talk to him? Ah! I can't stand that Hodazan. He smells terrible and he's raving. Oh, well. I'm glad that he's the only sane person around here. Or bird. You know what I mean. Can we talk to the... My head is killing me. That Hodazan won't stop yelling. I'm staying up here. That stinking Hodazan won't get off the lower branch. Hey, you! Pipe down, can't you? Okay, no, I get it. I'm trying to get the Hodazan to shut up. I have tried speaking with him. Doom, doom, and destruction. What are you doing here? Okay, so I've tried speaking with him. I've tried touching him. Adam would like to try to help the Hodazan. However, there's nothing he can do. Um, thanks. That's helpful, game. Um, 
BT dubs, doing this all from memory. Um, oh, can we use the coding? Oh, I've a coded. Awesome. I'm getting lots of points. Oh, I am just racking up the points here. Orchid, pitcher plant. I feel like I'm at Vegas. By the way, don't go to Vegas. You'll lose lots of money. Or you'll get greedy like I did. And you'll put in $10 and you'll be like, Oh my gosh, I have like $300. I can totally get $1,000. And then you'll end up with nothing. Don't do it. It's tragic. And sad. Can we recycle? Recycle the Hodazan? I'd like to shut him up, but that's going too far. Um... ba da ba da boo ba da ba da boo Um... How about if we show him the sacred symbol of Forest Heart? Forest Heart! Even she cannot help me! Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, that's like showing a Bible thumper that Jesus can't help them. Um, sorry all of you who I offended. I'm sure you're stopping my LP right now. Oh well. All five of you who are still watching out of the original 11, thanks for sticking around. Um... Oh my goodness! That's a snake! Stay back or I will squeeze you! I totally- Look at his hair! It's sticking out of his head! You got it! No problem. I have no problems with that. I'm not particularly interested. Okay. Oh, that's right! We can walk over here, which I forgot about. Okay, I think I may have mentioned this earlier, but this game I've played before, but not in about mm, 10 years. Adam picks a few of the heavily perfumed flowers. Oh, look at this bird. Can we talk to it? I don't want to recycle it. A bird with black plumage looks at Adam nervously. Lovely hummingbirds, aren't they? Personally, they scare me. I got near their flowers, and they got at me with their little beaks. Oh, that wasn't very nice. Can I pet you? Squawk! Keep your distance! Oh, well, that was rude. Talk about split personality. You know what? I'm gonna go back to my Hodazan. Because the Hodazan is crazy, but at least it's consistently crazy. Alright, up the tree. Adam's gonna weigh like 25 pounds by the end of this journey. Okay. Adam can't do anything properly. He's challenged. Okay. So, what? Are we gonna give the Hodazan this freaking flower, or are we gonna wear it? Okay, so Hodazan, be my prom date. Fine. I'll be my own prom date. Adam holds the flowers to his mouth like a gas mask? Really? Really? This is the solution to this puzzle? Are you kidding me? Okay. Alright, alright. If you say so, game. If you say so. Alright, we're gonna put out the fire of the cigar. Really. I can't believe this is happening. But it did. We held a flower up to our mouth to dump out some rainwater from a flower onto a nest with a cigarette. If you could see my face right now, I assure you it is of utter disgust. Oh, but the egg is hatching! Oh! And right now, I am embarrassed myself because, oh my gosh, it's a baby toucan! I don't like babies, but I do. Baby animals are really cute. Look, it's really happy and adorable and bouncing around the nest. Oh my gosh, I can move around. I didn't even realize I was too busy. A newly hatched... Okay, I don't think baby birds can actually, like, bounce around like that. Can I touch it? Oh, Adam wouldn't dream of disturbing the baby bird. Hey, you weren't that upset about touching the bird in the original Echo Quest, okay? You are like, hey, let's throw it back in the ocean. And your dad was like, that bird would be shark bait. And you are like... Man, Dad, that's a bummer. The water came the water came down from the sky. What a miracle. Well, actually, it was the water in the pitcher plant. 
Oh, I see. How can I thank you for saving my baby? Just tell me where I am. You're near the village of the Grove people. Remember, they're the hippos from the an the the Animaniacs. Oh, thank you, thank you. Just in time. Just glad it turned out okay. Um, but their kid is miraculously freed from that. Fire scares me. I'm glad you put it out. Besides, my new sister was about to be an omelet. It's too bad because I was really hungry and I look really depressed. <laughs> that was a horrible joke. <laughs> and the snake leaves conveniently. I like that hummingbird. Alright, so I'm going to end the video after this next bit, but I want to get to the this tree is a bit tedious, as you can see. Like, Adam, really, get a move on. You've gone swimming in the ocean. I assume you've done other things besides been robbed. Oh my gosh! It's a non-white boy! He's probably the child of the man who robbed you, Adam. You better get after him. Just yell, peso, peso! Whoa! What is that? What is that? It's coming after you! Oh no. Adam, you kind of look like a 909er. Are you wearing, like, sandals and socks? Really? Phew! That was close! Really? The, this... Okay. Okay. Um, you can look down at this bizarre scene. A gigantic thatched structure on a wooden frame is just like the long houses Adam's dad described. Wow, Adam has really taken, like, the white man's burden approach here. So, I'm going to sign off, y'all. This has been Perils of Rosella. I hope y'all enjoy yourselves. We're going to take on this uh, curious object at the end of the tree next time we all see ya. So, good night.